Well, this is not the second video I planned on putting up on YouTube, but I thought this one might be interesting. This is the second of the four TR-70s that I picked up a couple of months ago down in Georgia, in Athens at the University of Georgia. This is the newest one. It has a sticker inside that dates from 1974. I had hopes that this would be the, probably the very best of the four machines that I got. Probably one of the lowest hour TR-70s that still exist. I tried something new on this one. I have a, a 20 amp Variac and I thought that if I brought up the line voltage slowly to the linear supplies I might could save some electrolytic capacitors. So over a period of a couple of days, first I disconnected all the fans and motors and blowers and stuff because they don't like low voltage and just fed the linear supplies with the Variac. And I ran it up um, in increments of about 10 volts for two or three hours each step until I got up to 40 and then relays started clicking and the audio amplifier started oscillating and I smelled smoke. So that was the end of that. So I cut that out Sunday afternoon and decided next time I was going to put full power on it and find out where that smoke came from since I wasn't able to find it at 40 volts. Let's have a little more excitement. So yesterday I put full line voltage on it and the cooling blower vacuum pump was not running. The vacuum pump, you know, which supplies vacuum to the guide, the, the, head, the head guide, also the back side of the motor runs the main cooling blower for the machine, and that motor was not running at all. So I couldn't really run the machine uh, more than you know, a little while because I didn't want it to get hot until I figured out what the problem with that was. I did find in the stash a brand new NOS in the box vacuum pump blower motor. So first thing I did is pull the old one out and I saw that there was some burned wire where the, on the terminal strip where the AC comes into the motor and I thought aha that's the problem. So I fixed that and figured I'd take a chance and put the motor back in. Well, I did that this morning and it did, still didn't work. So out it comes again and I put the brand new motor in and voila it came up perfectly. It's got great vacuum and uh, the cooling blower is working and the cooling blower warning light is out. Uh, the air system all came up perfectly. Vacuum, everything looks good there and it actually has E to E video all the way through the thing. There's still, I haven't tried to run any tape on it yet, but there's still still some issues. A few reference pulses here and there are missing. I've got to run those down. I still have to find out what smoked, but uh, this is this is really coming along nicely. For something that hasn't been powered since 1983, it's doing amazingly well. It also has uh, a glass take-up reel. Now, I've never seen these before. Some of you guys may have seen glass take-up reels, but uh, each of these machines came with one. And this one has been on there so long that it's stuck to the reel turntable. I can't get it off, and I'm afraid to pull too hard on it from breaking the glass, so I'm going to have to have to figure out how to get that off eventually. So that's about it for today on this machine. Uh, you can see some video here when I initially powered it up. I was looking for some major fireworks and didn't really get any. That's always good. So anyway, um, got the AC hooked up and all the signals going in. I'm a real optimist here. So, uh, let's see what happens. Not much smoke yet. I don't hear the compressor running either. A little vacuum pump and blower down here is not running, but I unplugged it to run it up on the Variac. Let's be sure that I haven't plugged in. Good. I think I do. some reason. Go back and give it a spin by hand first. All the supply voltages are there. Wow. Miracle.
the first major problem with this machine after powering it up is it has no cooling blower and no vacuum pump. And the way they're set up, the camera off here, the way it's set up is the vacuum pump and the cooling blower are run off of the same motor. I've got it out here already. It goes down here in this little corner. I had to take a few things apart. I had to take the power supply regulator out and a few things. Here's the motor that's bad. It reads open. And this end is the vacuum pump end. And this end is the cooling blower. And I just spent about an hour getting it out and on the ground here. Got the little squirrel cage fan out of it. And that's where I'm at right now. I just happen to have a brand new NOS uh, vacuum pump in a box that came with all these machines. I sort of suspect, sort of wondered why I saw that thing because I've never had one of these go bad. So apparently this, this one died uh, possibly due to these incredibly clogged air filters on the uh, intake side of the machine. And they just, uh, I guess they just decided that was a good time to retire the machine. They never put the new vacuum pump blower assembly in. So I'm doing it now, some 26 years later. We'll see how it turns out. There's the squirrel cage blower. And this is the little nest where it sits. This, this right here is the ductwork that goes up into the plenum for the electronic modules for cooling. It has an airflow sensor micro switch that goes in here that if there's no airflow from this cooling blower, it puts the machine in stop. So I was not going to get very far without cooling air. So that's where I'm at right now. I hope to have this other motor in in an hour or so and we'll try and repower it again. Now here is the brand new vacuum pump in the box. I, I can't believe my luck on this. This is, this is amazing. Brand new. NOS. Shot of me taking it out here. I really wonder when this happened. All the, all the shock mounts, the whole bit. Now there it is. What a thing of beauty. Imagine trying to find one of these nowadays. I guess I would have to get the motor rebuilt for probably what would happen. But there it is. In all its glory. There it is. In the box. Hard to believe. So hopefully the next video we'll have uh, we'll be playing a tape and we'll going through that whole process on one of these machines. I still got two more to go too, so all kinds of fun coming up.